Uh, coach, you can just maybe give us an overview of the 90 minutes. Yeah, good, uh, good evening to members of the media. Yeah, it's one, it's one I, I, I really cannot find words to explain. Um, um, I thought we started very, very well. Um, in fact, I thought we played well overall. And um, we got the penalty from, I think, I think a clear decision. I've just watched all the key decisions. And, uh, and then we don't score that, okay? And then yeah. the game drags a little bit for 0-0 zero, zero until, until, until half time. Uh, but still, again, still very, very comfortable. So, so much control, so much. In fact, I think one of our better performances this season. Um, and to dominate a game like that, a cup final like that, against a very strong team like Orlando Pirates, and then not to win is uh, is bittersweet. Because uh, you look at the performance, and you you know you deserve better. But uh, like I said to the players, even uh, in my team talk, cup finals are not there to be played, they are there to be won. And um, of course, I think also some of the key moments in the game didn't go for us, the penalty we missed. I, I just saw the penalty they got given, I thought, I thought Tito actually fouls uh, uh, Obri Wodiva, to be honest. I watched it again and again, and I think it, it's actually a foul for some downs, and it should be going the other way. And um, and I'm not so sure about the foul on on, on Marcelo Allende because because uh, there was two or three incidents where similar situations happened for Bongani Zungu and for Musa, and actually the foul was given the other direction. So, but but cup finals are like that. Games like like this are about small details and moments, and and unfortunately the moments in uh, in the 90 minutes today didn't go for us. Uh, so you've got to congratulate the the winners of the Pirates and and be gracious in defeat, and congratulate them for 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 defending the the Nepen Cup trophy. Thank you, Coach. We'll take questions from the floor. Do we have that microphone? Okay, let's start with. Mr. Glisson there, I've noted Carabo. I think there was also another hand, Kensani, Temba. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Um, Coach, can I ask you about Budao? It was intriguing, the fact that you insisted he stayed on. He did want to come off. His hand was dragging. Mm. Just talk us through. Can you explain that to us, uh, how that whole thing went? What was your thinking? Why did you want him to stay? We needed him. Uh, we just needed him. I mean, uh, he's, uh, he's an important player. He was playing very well. He, his dribble is what led to the penalty, so we just needed him. And, and I thought, I, I asked him even at half time, does he think he can, he can continue? But, uh, and he felt he could, so, so we needed him. All right, uh, while we still have the microphone, let's go to Litabo. Can we get a microphone to Karawa as well? Good evening, uh, Coach. Good evening. I had luck today. Uh, times. Coach, I just want to ask you that um, having you know had the, the possibility of getting that travel today, how much does that hurt? And also, you know, is Paris now your good team in terms of cup finals? Well, uh, the facts speak that they've beaten us twice now, so I don't know if that makes you a hoodoo team or not. Um, how much does it hurt? Every defeat is, it leaves a very deep scar. Every defeat. It doesn't matter where, what type of, what type of occasion or what type of game it represents. But every defeat, in in my opinion, always leaves a very very deep scar. So, the pain is there for sure. It doesn't. It's not about losing to Pirates. It's not about losing the Cup Finals. It's about losing the match, and then and then losing a match that, still in my heart, you know. Really, in my heart, I haven't watched it again. But in my heart, I thought we played well enough to win it. You know, so that that hurts even more. In football, the ones that you lose and you deserve to lose are a little bit easier to digest. It's the ones that where you think you played exceptionally well, where you get the dagger right at the end and you make 
even 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 though I'm speaking about some of the moments, but really we 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 could have defended that situation a hell of a lot better, and we knew about it because we 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 worked on it uh, yesterday at training, you know. So, but anyway, uh, congratulations to Pirates and um, and. Um, Commiserations to this group. I think they deserve a little bit more than what we we've ended off with. I think we've had a fantastic season. Uh, we've played some incredible football, and um, and under very difficult circumstances, we've we've kept going up until the very end. I mean, 57 games in one season is not easy. Uh, I think 28 or 29 of those are cup games, and 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 that's also not easy because those are games of consequence. But I suppose that is uh, how we will develop as a team, and uh, and and now we use the off season to to introspect all of us, including myself, um, and um, and try to go again next season. Carabo, quick one. Uh, good evening, coach. I like here on the on the result. Uh, yeah. I think to some extent one might say it's an unpalatable uh, result, but then for you, coach, the way that you concede. Uh, or, or let me just say, you don't normally uh, lose matches from leading, and that happened. And you know, they equalised, they win again. Is that disappointing, or you know, the way that you guys considered both them goals? Yeah. Look, I, I, it's, I, it's like I said, I, it's difficult to find words to explain this this game. It's 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 a really really very difficult because I didn't, not for one moment did I think that Pirates could score at 1-0, you know, we were in so much control and we had to be careful about the counter-attacks and, and, and we had very good rest defense, we were, we were, yeah, but it counts for zero, does it, you know, when you talk about the performance, you talk about, I, I thought, I thought this was one of Mshishi's best games, I thought uh, this was one of Obas's best games, I thought Musa Lebusa was, was very good. I thought Modao was good. I, th I thought some of the, Marcelo, in a very long time, I thought played very, very well. Um, but, yeah, yeah, it's, it's difficult when you go also into it and then you, look, you lose Lucas. So that's another moment that went against us. Even before that, you lose Peter Shalulile to a freak injury building up to the preparations. That's another moment. So, yeah, I suppose when fate decides, you know, you've got... Uh, You've got very little chance. Quick one, Jabulo. Uh, Jabulo, you're from Miss 24. Uh, coach, Hi, what did the season teach you about yourself and also about this team, looking at everything that was thrown at you guys and how you've responded to it? Uh, there's a lot. Uh, but I think I, I think I need I need to I need to have an off season f to, to to properly digest the lessons you know. But they of course there's a lot of lessons, uh, not just about the team, about the individual players, but also about myself. You know, about the 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 most important part when we when you lose games like this is you have to start with yourself, the coach. You know, you can't go too far. You start with yourself and you look at yourself in the mirror and you ask yourself, could you have done better? And, um, and, 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 and first, before even going into finding reasons as to why you've got to, you've got to humble yourself and apologize to the football club because it's not a game we should have lost. So, so it's, it's, it's my responsibility to, to apologize to Mamelodi Sundowns Football Club the supporters, the board, the club uh, in its entirety for, for letting them down because we shouldn't have lost the game. And then it's about introspection and, and checking yourself and checking what did you do and checking if, if, if the investment is enough. And, uh, and, uh, and then if the investment is not enough, is, is then it becomes a bit of a problem because the, the club deserves better. Uh, and the club deserves a coach that will, will that will invest a little bit more and help them to to cross over the line. So so that's the that's what my off season will be about. Okay, Clifford, Temba, and then Kensani. Okay, Temba, you can go since we already have the mic. Quick one, please. Okay. Can go ahead. Okay. I'm sure we can hear you. Yeah, yes. we can hear you, Titi. Um, coach. Um, 
when it comes to the actual match, the exclusion of Mabasa as well as Black uh, Wheeler and the inclusion of Maela in the team, from the team that was playing um, last, last, last night that they played, how much of a surprise was that and was it something that you actually studied that they were going to bring on? No, fortunately, I, I actually... Uh, uh, it's, 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 uh, that's 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 the thing. Uh, sometimes is the um, the depth of the investment is is, is 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 too much to accept a defeat like this. You know, uh, and why I say that is because with the staff and with the analysts, I probably watched twelve Holland Pirates matches. Uh, the last ten. And then I watched the MTN8 final. And I watched the game that we played against them in January. And specifically the game we played in January was the last match I watched. We then cut the clips of that game because I remember vividly after the match, the coach Jose Rivera saying to me that he enjoyed that game. He said he thought that his team played very, very well. So when I saw the lineup, um, and even though I had expected a Cabello Zamini to start, because I think he's been fantastic, uh, really, f for them. I thought Mabasa has been a very good, and I thought he would start. But seeing that game in January and how they pressed and how aggressive Salem was and Hoto was and um, Mahopa was, and how they important they were for the for the for beating the press and going beyond with the flicks and second balls, uh, to relatively. It was not surprising because I had just watched the game and I saw how well they, they the coach felt they did and the things that they did very well were were the things of high pressing and and uh, and uh, beating the press with uh, when you go a bit in the build up and then they go to 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 Mahopo or to Hoto to flick for runners behind and use the speed. So um, yeah, it's a pity. It's a pity because as I say, it's uh, the investment. The investment doesn't equate to the out the outcome, and that's a bit that's a bit of a of a of a bitter pill to swallow. Um, and I can imagine for the players even more, you know, because I can't fault them for effort. You know, like it's a game where I cannot say to the players, "You didn't do enough," you know. Um, but but we lost, and and that's what matters in cup finals. You've got to win. Um, all this other stuff, when you start to explain, sounds like excuses or comes out as excuses. So, and that's no one's interested in that. Who cares? Quick one, Clifford, then Kensani. Thank you, uh, Coach Clifford, Capricorn of Fabia. Uh, Coach, do you sometimes have, you know, a Mario, uh, a Mario Palotelli, Mourinho conversations with Mendieta because sometimes he seems to be overzealous in some of the challenges that he makes and gets himself into trouble? I don't know Mourinho and Balotelli's conversations. So. Let's pass on the mic. Let's pass on the mic. Can we get it to Kensani um, in the interest of time, coach? Yeah. Thanks, for two. Evening, coach. Good evening. Uh, on Thursday, you said uh, this final needs three good teams <coughs> on the pitch uh, on the day. Um, obviously, your team was good. Um, well, how, how difficult is it, coach, to lose two finals uh, consecutively against Pirates? to what seems as like contentious, contentious, contentious uh, decisions uh, from from the referees. Yeah, it's, it's but it's it's gonna sound like excuses, Kent. You know, uh, I watched I watched the penalty that they get, they got, and really, I see I, Tito is not even looking at the ball, and he 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 moves his back and he slides into Mudiba. You know, uh, Mudiba could have d done a bit better and anticipated a little bit better in that situation and not gone tight. You, because because if you read the body language of of Maswangai, it's not even to 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 go into the situation and 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 compete for the jewel. So maybe it's to allow him to try. It's a very difficult ball. It's in the air and it's coming yeah, at at very high speed. Maybe it's to allow him to receive first and just keep your position and then apply pressure and force him a little bit back. But but it's football, you know. These things happen. Um, and then, but you lose games with these things that happen. So, uh, how difficult it is? It's very difficult, but it's it is what it is because it's it's it's, it's the game of football. You can't you can't you can't say we 
we didn't play well. You can't say we didn't deserve to win. You can't fault the players for effort. Uh, and, and maybe as a parting shot, I'd like to thank them for everything they've done this season, all their commitment, their, their energy, their, their willingness to work very, very hard. Uh, their cooperation and dealing with me and the pressure that I put on them every single day. So I want to thank them for that. And, uh, and they, they win or lose, they, they will always have a special place in my heart. I love this group of players. And um, I know that they love me also, uh, just as much if not more. But, but it's not enough, is it, you know? Uh, okay. We, we take the double. Uh, we've done incredible work this season and I think if you look at what we've done, 29 games unbeaten in the, in the league, uh, setting new records for number of points, number of uh, uh, games, number equaling a, a clean sheet record that's been there for so long. Um, going 49 games, someone told me, without a defeat or something like that. Um, and away, away wins, number of away wins uh, in a season, number of double wins, like eight double wins in a season. I mean, it's not done before. Um, winning the AFL, which for me and the club uh, at the beginning of the season, it was very, very clear that the AFL was number one priority. And winning that, uh, plus the league title, which I think is very, very important because it's the seventh consecutive in a row for the football club. Uh, qualifying for the Club World Cup, which is a consequence of a lot of hard work, not not only this season, but also last season, when a lot of people said, but against uh, Al Hilal, why did you put your strongest team and why did you run and save that penalty and, 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 and not knock Al Akhli out? Now you understand why every all of those results catch up with you because it's, it's, it's points that give you possibilities to, to qualify for a, a major tournament which was a big objective for the club and qualify for the club world cup which is now something we've done so you you've, we've ticked a lot of boxes and then when you look at uh, the mtn8 where were we last season we were in the semi-finals this season we lost unfortunately in the finals the netbank cup um, last season we were we lost in the quarterfinals this year we lose in the finals so the gains may be marginal but they are there you know, and sometimes that's the perspective you've got to take. You know, you've got to look at the the, the level of growth that the team has, has undergone. Uh, and even though for the the stature of the football club that we represent is not enough, but it's important not to lo lose perspective on on some of the good work that we've done and 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 some of the objectives that we've 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 achieved and and we've and the boxes we've ticked. Um, but. Yeah, still not good enough, is it? Um, for good, good at Mamelodi Sundowns, unfortunately, is not good enough. Coach, thank you very much. We'll end it here. Thank you very much, guys.